Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I want to say all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to say double honors to the Pops and the Elders of GMS. And uh, Shalom to the elect out there pushing the word in sincerity and in truth. Uh, this is GMS Precepts. My name is Nazar Khan. And um, I'm going to go into a few scriptures dealing with um, um, uh, the knowledge uh, of, of, of the Bible. Okay? And how two thirds of, of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans won't be able to understand it, man. You know? Won't be able to understand and, and, and uh, uh, understand these scriptures because it's given on to a select few to be able to understand and break down the scriptures, starting with the apostles of GMS. All right, so uh, um, first question I'm gonna get this is Titus uh, one verse four one verse fifteen. It says unto the pure. It says unto the pure all things are pure, uh, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving nothing is pure, but even their mind and conscience is defiled. And who and whose mind and whose mind and conscience is defiled? In this captivity that we're in, in this certain in 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 Babylon that we're in, is it two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man? Two thirds of you uh, have been indoctrinated with that Western philosophy, all right? That 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 Western way of thinking, that that Babylon. Basically, brothers like to say this a lot. Y'all drunk off the Babylon juice, man, because you uh uh part of uh, uh coming in, into this knowledge. Is 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 uh, uh, putting away that old man, throwing away everything that you thought you knew before, and learning everything over again. That's why the, that's why the Lord always referred to um, becoming as a, a newborn baby or, or become, becoming as a child. All right, when somebody's a child, they're more willing to learn and accept new things. And the new things that you have to learn is is that uh, the so-called white man. According to the scriptures, is the devil, man. All right, slavery uh, is 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 a good thing if the correct slaves and the correct rulers are in their correct position. It tells you that in uh, Ecclesiastes, I've seen servants upon horses, man. All right, the servants, our servants, all right, are are are, are the people of Edom, man. You you Edomites, all right. You so-called white people. You are the servants and Matter of fact, let me just get it because I, I can't I can't quote it. Let me get that scripture real quick. It's in uh, Ecclesiastes. Uh, I believe it's the tenth chapter. Let me get that real quick. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes ten, verse seven. It says, "I have seen I have seen servants upon horses." And princes walking as servants upon the earth, man, and that's in the in the princes walking as servants upon the earth is referring to you Israelites. All right, that's why our name means what? Uh, he is a prince of the power, Yasha Allah. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are supposed to be the rulers on the planet Earth. Going back to Deuteronomy, the, the 28th chapter, it fully explains that. If you do all these uh, laws, that if you follow my laws, statutes, and commandments. I'll give you the blessings of the whole earth, man. Okay? But we didn't do that, so now uh, uh, we had to go through a punishment, but that punishment, we're approaching its end right now. Okay? It says, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And that's and that's what we see now. But guess what? That is, is going to get flipped. Now the servants that are on the horses that are in that power seat because the horse is considered a, 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 a metaphor for power. Okay? So right now, who has a power right now? Edom has a power. But pretty soon, we're going to take them out of power pursuing to that prophecy in, um, pursuing to the prophecy in, in Genesis when Jacob grabbed the heel of Esau. We're going to pull Esau, we're going to pull Edom, the, 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 uh, the Edomites out of power and, and be placed in our position of power via Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. By who you ignorant call God and Christ is is them is is Him, it's the Most High that's gonna put us in that in that power seat in in that position of power, which which was uh, promised to us going all the way back for, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, so back in Titus verse fifteen one and fifteen it says unto the pure all things are pure, 
but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, but even their mind and their conscience is defiled. Right? Verse 16, they profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. And a perfect example of that was Jesus is the Word and the other dude that was there, man. Now, I don't know if Jesus is the Word is an Israelite. You better hope he is. You better hope he, he's an Israelite because if he's not in the kingdom, he's going to get a rude awakening, okay? Um, but the other dude that was with him, that 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 was a, a Israelite, but he was hard headed, man. Now I don't know if towards the end he started to lean towards the other way, but majority of the time he was there, he was just bucking up, man. He was coming up against uh, uh, all the all the scriptures and the in the, in the, in the prophecies, man, that that were that were being uh, told to him. Okay, so that dude was reprobate. Reprobate means what? Void of judgment, man. Okay. It says they profess that they know him, yet he didn't have a beard. He kept covering his head. He kept making excuses. He said you could eat anything you want to eat. He even said, the, the the brother even asked him when when he brought that scripture out. Oh, can can you eat, can you eat human meat? He was like, yeah, but I wouldn't advise it though. Dude, these motherfuckers are fucking mad, man. Them, them Christians are fucking. A bunch of bug outs, man. Them Christians are a bunch of re reprobates. That that means you can eat anything, man. If you you can you can if you you can eat a cat, you can eat dog, you can eat anything, anything that you put in your mouth is is uh, is, is is clean. Uh, uh, pursuing uh, pursuing to that scripture, then you damn Christians have no understanding of 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 the Bible. You know what I'm saying? You have no understanding of the Bible, at all, right? So. What else I got? Let me get, um, I'm going to go to Mark. I'm going to go to Mark. How many minutes I got left? I'm going to go to Mark real quick. The fourth chapter. Okay? Because, you know, according to you Christians, um, the Lord came for everybody, and this truth is, is for everybody. When the scriptures uh, uh, say contrary. This is Mark 4, verse 11. It says, this is Mark 4 and 11. It says, And he said unto them, unto, um, Let me start at verse 9. Mark 4 and 9. And he said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them that are without all these things are done in parables, meaning, meaning, meaning. Uh, 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 it is onto it is onto you. Those twelve uh, disciples, those twelve apostles, they represented uh, the elect. Okay, so it's given onto the elect, the hundred forty-four thousand, and the governing body, and uh, the 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 rest of the one third to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Man, matter of fact, it tells you. Uh, let me get uh, let me get something real quick. Amos 3 and 7. It says, it says, this is Amos 3 and 7. Surely the, the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the secrets of these scriptures, the secrets of of these breakdowns, of these prophecies will be given to, uh, uh, will be given to his servants, man. Okay, and, and the servant, if you break down the word servant, it basically means uh, a, a minister. A minister uh, uh, it means a servant, man. And who who are ministers serving? They're serving Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and that's what we out there doing. We're serving, we're ministering to our people uh, to bring them back onto the Father. But the only ones that are going to come back onto the Father are the elect. Okay. The elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans. So these secrets are given to the prophets to give unto the people. That's the that's the rundown. All right. But also to two thirds of our people, it is not given unto them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Just like he broke down, or just like the Lord explained in Mark the fourth chapter and Matthew the thirteenth chapter, it's not given unto everybody. It tells you in Second Corinthians fourth chapter, uh, this if this gospel was hid. It is here to them that are lost, man. Showing you that the Lord 
does not want everybody to understand it. He doesn't want he doesn't want everybody to uh, uh, to, to to get it. He only wants a selected few to get it. Just like uh, 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 he only had a select few, a small number that he was dealing with back then, a small gathering, a small following. The same thing now. It's the same deal now. All right, and I'll get one, one more scripture, and I'll end it on that. This is uh, Psalms 20. 25 verse 14 it says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant all right there you go that secret again that secret represents all the the prophecies it represents the the, the uh, uh um, the breakdowns the the, the deep uh dark sayings that the parables that the metaphors the history those are all given to the prophets and how you can tell who a prophet is is if 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 one is is heavily uh, 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 in prophecy and able to break down and answer every question that's asked, all right, and that's given and that spirit has been given on to the uh, apostles of GMS all the way down, okay? Because what scoffers like to do, they like to say and point out things. Oh, this is wrong. This is wrong. But they never have an answer. If you ask them something, they can't answer it. They never have their own answer. They just say this is wrong. That's wrong. But they can never have or answer their own question. If you do ask them, they just get all quiet and, and, and eyes get wide open because they don't have the fucking they don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. Okay? Alright, so um that's 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 pretty much all I wanted to bring out. Until the next show, show one.